Absolute Wealth. Real investors, real results. Everybody, this is John Carter with Absolute Wealth, and we are going to take a look at uh, the S and P's here. So S and P's did close below that key trend line here, and we've had you know multiple tests. Bam, bam, bam. And you know, with these with these tests, we've typically had symmetrical moves. I've talked about you know symmetrical moves down, followed by symmetrical moves up. And the question is, is now can we get a symmetrical move up? And a lot of it has been kind of waiting and depending on Apple. Well, Apple just came out with their earnings about 10 minutes ago, and you can see right now, um, Apple came out. They're down $30 after hours. And you can see the NASDAQ futures here down 23, uh, all based on Apple. So there's good news and bad news here. The good news is, is Apple, typically if it misses, it will retrace just because people like to buy Apple at a cheaper price. But they did miss, and so this will be a big impact on the markets for tomorrow. The, uh, you know, the NASDAQ was down at one point like 30, 35 points. You can see here it's recovering a little bit based on Apple, trying to recover a little bit. Uh, so tomorrow will be interesting, uh, to say the least. If we look here at a chart of Apple, uh, you can see that this level 568, that's kind of, oh, we're moving up a little bit from there, 573 or so, that's kind of where we are. There's some decent support in this level, so there may be buyers, uh, but you know, it's if, 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 it's just, it depends if people, if people look at this as Apple, is growth is slowing, Apple's in trouble. If they look at it as like, eh, it's a miss, but they're coming out with some kick-ass stuff, sorry, kick, kick uh, butt stuff, uh, how about some great stuff? Uh, then you know it'd be a buying opportunity, and we won't really know that until tomorrow. Uh, in terms of other markets, one of my favorite markets right now is natural gas. This is the, what the futures contract looks like. What I'm doing is buying UNG here, and I'm looking for a move to the $26 level. And other than that, um, you know tomorrow is going to be all about Apple. UNG, I think, to me is my favorite long right now. And uh, tomorrow's going to be a big day for the stock market. It's going to depend on how Apple acts, how the market acts, will determine essentially the next several weeks. And I'll update you guys with that on Thursday. Okay. Have a great rest of the trading day. We'll see you at the next update.